Okay, this is a follow-up on my primer experiment. These are rifle rounds with uh, the primers remade with the uh, procedures I have in my vid. I'm going to shoot five rounds here. I'll cross the chronograph and in for accuracy and compare it to uh, five other rounds I loaded up identically with uh, store-bought primers. Here we go. primer experiment. These are the five rounds with the unique with made primers. Top right, or bottom right, excuse me. Community, this is John with No H7. Uh, this is going to be a update to our video that I did earlier about uh, um, primers when perhaps you can't find primers or they're not unavailable. Some of the things that I found uh, we can use to to remake a primer so that it can be used uh, for well components for reloading. I've, I've experimented a little further, found out a couple of things that uh, makes it easier and improvements, and uh, we're going to discuss those here in just a just a moment. Now the reason that I went with the uh, the rifle primers is because. I wanted to, uh, well, I've already proven that we can kind of make this work with handgun primers and the 45 ACP large rifle, or large pistol, sorry. Uh, this experiment is going to go large rifle primers. If we can make the rifle primers work, I would imagine that we can also consider, make the assumption that we can make it work for pistols too, because there's, well, the similarities are very, very close. It's going to be a little harder to ignite more unique powder. The handgun powder is in the rifle case, so this is kind of like the next step up. And uh, if we can make this work, it can also work in the uh, in the handgun cases. That's my uh, my assumption. Okay, in our first experiment, we had uh, used uh, five primers on my test, and I had a just going from memory, he had one, maybe two, you know, I think it was one out of the five that did not uh, that did not fire. So that's why I wanted to go a little further and do some experimenting. But one of the things I, I've done now is to uh, make it easier to, to, uh, to get the primers out or the caps out is I am using a punch. And I'm using the punch, as you can see the holes, to get the, the primers out so I'm not using a exacto knife let's see if we can get that in here anyway you get that punch right over the there we go we can get a couple of these babies I'm gonna go ahead and do four and we have four stashed down inside the uh, punch we get those out there you go I'm going to put them in that pan there. Now, <clears throat> another thing I learned, this is the little anvil dilly whopper that I used. And if you look at it, you can see there's some rusting here. And that's because when I was done the other day, I had uh, some caps and just for fun of it, I popped them. And you can see that's rusting. So that tells me that there's some salts in those. So you have to consider these as corrosive primers. Now with that, that just tells me that if you use these in your firearm that you need to to clean it after you're done just like you would if you were shooting corrosive primers or corrosive okay. ammo I'm going to take my punch like I did in the first one we're gonna take that we're gonna try to iron out the dimple in there pretty much iron and dimple out and you want to make sure I'm using a, a dental pick just kind of clean out all that old primer compound and then one of the things I had difficulties with last time was the holding the primers to get them to work what I've done I have a small vise here and this is a primer arm for my RCBS press and it's a large primer things and what that is I can put the primer in here and that helps hold it 
so that I can work with it. And what I did, I just used a small vise. You can use a regular vise. That way you have some, some way of holding it to do the next steps. Now what I've done in this experiment, first time around I used just one primer or cap like this and put it in our primer. This experiment I used two. Now with two of them in there with all the paper it was too, too thick. So I'm going to use my pick and separate that paper out. And we're going to take one layer off. Now this is a little tedious. And I'm going to get my Okay, if you look at that, one of those is a very light color. This is the light color. We're not going to use that one. We're going to use the darker one. Okay, I'm going to go tweezers. In there. We're going to set that in there, and then we can either use your punch, or I'm using the end of this. Just gently push that down in there. And there again, wear safety glasses in case this thing uh, that goes off. We're going to do that one more time. Okay, I got the second paper separated. And gently push that down in there. So we're going to end up with two, two single thicknesses of the cap down in there. And then we're going to take our anvil. Anvil goes in on top. And now we're ready to seat it into the. Uh, okay, I'm still using the uh, RC, RCBS, the uh, what do you call it? Lee hand primer. need to like this one here set the primer and the anvil and point it away from you gently press and there we go now what I've done on this one if you've noticed I put that in a rifle case I'm using rifle primers this time and uh, the experiment, I'm using cast bullets with Hodgson's, no, nah, not Hodgson's, Alliant, unique. So it's a pistol primer, or pistol powder, rifle primer, rifle cast bullet. And my experiment has used 145 grain cast, 7 millimeters, 08, this 7 millimeter 08 case, and take it to the range. I've loaded five rounds with the remade primers and the uh, unique. And then I have five other cases, same load. The only difference is I used rifle primers. And I'm going to run it across my chronograph so that we compare them side by side if there's any differences in velocity between the factory primers and our remade primers. All right. Uh, All right, here we go, number two. Okay, here is, uh, this is some notes that I took for the uh, velocity readings I took off my chronograph. This is my primer experiment. On the left hand side here is my factory CCI 200 large rifle primers. And on the right are my remade primers. And these are the numbers of shots here, one through five. These are my velocities for the factories. We had a low of 1707 on the CCIs and a high of 1755. Now we go over here, shots number one through five. My high velocity on my remade primer is 1805 and the low was 1698. Now if you look down here, this is my averages. I had 1740 feet per second average for the CCIs and 1734 for the remade primer. So not very far off. 
but I did have my extreme spread on the CCIs was much less at only 48 feet, feet per second um, spread from that velocity a little higher here for the remade prime 107 feet feet per second so we had a higher swings between your highs and lows on the remade primers, but actually your averages are, are pretty darn close. So tells me that uh, with the uh, aspects that we've used this time with the two paper um, caps and in the rifle primers with uh, unique powder, everything looks uh, pretty I good. Uh, experiment here has has proven to be a viable alternative a little uh, tedious to do less so than our first steps and uh, I think it's uh, it's a viable alternative if you cannot get primers okay thanks for watching don't forget to like and comment and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber we got more experiments like this coming uh, thanks for watching and this is John with no h7 signing out stay safe